Well, I am getting an incredibly late start to my day. Day's half over. I haven't gotten anything done. That's not true. I had a little errand I had to run this morning, which took much too long. Now it is past lunchtime. I've been so busy running the errand that I still have a little coffee left from this morning. But uh, I'm hungry for lunch. Uh, luckily, I still have the little bit of coffee to work on. But um, with all the running around, I forgot to take my pizza dough out of the fridge. So last night I made pizza dough thinking that it would be a good day to make some pizza today. But um, you can't just make pizza dough straight from the fridge if you've had it uh, chilled down. So I need to let this come up to room temperature. So I've got that out and I was hoping to get to lunch quickly, get that over with, and then concentrate on a little project I've got running here. I've, I need to clean this mess up. And I talked about that in my last vlog. And I went and bought a backpack to try to help with this whole mess here. Um, and I really should get started on that so that I just get it done. It seems like every time I do a little project, and this looks like it would be like a real quick, simple project, but I've learned the hard way that everything takes much longer than I think it's going to take. And this is basically reorganizing stuff. There's stuff that doesn't need to be here. Uh, there's stuff that just needs to be put away, and I'm hoping that it'll get put away in the backpack and kind of out of sight. Uh, that's the idea anyway, and there's also a few things that I would like to get over here and kind of get in the backpack, use some of the pockets in the backpack. Uh, so that means some of the stuff is going to come off of the shelf over here on this side and hopefully go into the backpack, but um, I don't want to start that project until I get my lunch done. And then I realize too, I have another thing I need to get done. I've got laundry that I need to get done. I have a little laundry hack that I do from time to time. So while I'm waiting for the pizza dough to warm up, which shouldn't be too long, I guess, it's feeling pretty good, uh, I will get my laundry started. Now, maybe I shouldn't call this a hack necessarily, because this is kind of based around the fact that I have switched from using jeans. I've always been a jeans and t-shirt kind of guy to using these um, nylon pants. These are made by Columbia. I bought uh, them at a Columbia outlet. I only buy them when they're on sale because if they're not on sale, they're really expensive. Uh, but I really like these things, not because they're comfortable, but because I can wash them myself with very little water, being that they're nylon. They wash up really quickly and they dry really quickly. So obviously this is pretty simple. I just take the clothes that I need to wash. I put them in a bucket and recently I've upgraded my bucket. I used to use a little tiny bucket, uh, but I just found this one recently at Grocery Outlet for five bucks and it's kind of exactly what I'm looking for. And this is the first time I'm using it, but um, it's, it's about triple the size of a bucket that I've just made that look a lot harder than it really is to open. But anyway, it's a little collapsible bucket that um, it's about three times the size of the bucket that I used to use, which means I can get more water, which means I can wash a little bit faster and more efficiently. But I just put some water in here, I put my detergent in here, and then I act like my last name is Ingalls, and I just wash my clothes in the bucket. Now this works because I have this instant hot water heater. This is a propane-fired hot water heater, and the water that is supplied to it comes from my sink. So I have a little shutoff valve that I can turn on and off. And when I want to supply water to this, I just turn my pump on from my sink, flip that valve, and I've got water pressure. And then I can turn on a propane tank that supplies gas to this. And voila, I've got all the hot water that I need. Okay, so I'm going to turn on my pump here. I'm going to flip this valve so that I now have water pressure here. And then uh, the only thing about these 
water heaters is it takes a little bit of time for them to heat the water up and because I've got such a long line on my hose uh, it takes a little extra time so what I do is I just I just run a loop of, uh, of water basically I'm just pulling water out of my water tank that's under my sink here and I'm running it through the heater and heating it up waiting for the water to heat up once it's warm actually I think I need to turn this up a bit I like to run as hot of water as I can possibly get here as my hands can possibly stand I, sh I should say and um, yeah so that's good and hot water now now I'll I will uh, put some water in my bucket and then I, I can just add a little bit of soap and from time to time I add a little too much soap I got to be a little careful when I do this but um, Looks like it's about time to buy some new detergent. But that should be good. And the only thing I do once in a while is if my clothes are a little extra stinky, I might just add a few drops of Dr. Bronner's. I don't like to use this on laundry because it takes quite a bit of water to rinse it out of fabric. So this is usually reserved just for me, but uh, I do use it on my laundry occasionally. And this is the boring part. I'm just going to work this, work these clothes through here and paying attention to the color of the water, obviously I can see these are quite dirty, so the water is uh, already pretty pretty filthy, even though I've only been doing this for a few seconds. But I'm just going to do this as long as I see that there's still some dirt coming out of these pants. And what I find is after several minutes, I'll just, uh, I'll just replace the water. I've probably got too much clothes in, in this bucket. I should probably be doing this these one at a time, but... Um, I've done this before with my smaller bucket over there and yeah, as long as you just uh, pay attention to the color of the water it seems to work out just fine for me. Well, that took a little longer than I had anticipated, uh, partly because these pants are really dirty. They needed to be washed, but uh, I think I've got them nice and clean. And now the final step is just getting them wrung out the best I can. And because they're nylon, I, I really just give them a good, a good twist and squeeze. I don't have to worry about these ripping or anything it seems. I'm, I'm rough with them just to get as much of the water as I can out of them. And then I have a little clothes hanger of sorts. Got a cord here with a couple of magnets and some clips. Once I get my laundry wrung out a bit, I can just simp simply Clip it up here and let it dry. Although there's not a lot of sun here at the moment, so this may have not been the best day to do this. But they'll get dry. I have other things to do while they dry. Hopefully. So just a couple little final thoughts on this. I find that the type of detergent that's you choose really makes a big difference. Uh, I'm using a very clean biodegradable detergent. Um, I think that's important, one, because I'm just dumping this out on the grass, so I don't want to kill any grass, I don't want to cause any damage on anything, uh, but two, I think it's better rinsing. I think it rinses easier, so if I use a really harsh detergent, I'll end up using a lot more water and a lot more time 
And that's really the downside to doing this is that it takes a bit of time. Um, the other thing is I know that there are products that are sold that uh, are supposed to help with this whole process. You know, you can buy a little washboard or there are bags that you can buy that you could put your clothes in and they, they supposedly help with this, but I, I don't really see the point in it. A bucket and as long as you're using warm water, that's all that seems to matter for me. I seem to be able to get at least these types of fabric really clean. Now, it, this wouldn't work with a pair of jeans. It would just take me too long. I would use too much water and it would take forever to dry even on a sunny day with a, with a regular pair of blue jeans. But, uh, but with this type of fabric, doing this, using just a simple bucket, this is the way to go. And uh, at least this is the way to go for me, I should say. And the nice thing is I now have a bucket that collapses down and doesn't take up much space. So uh, yeah, this is the way I'm going to do it. Just a little suggestion for you there. And uh, I say give it a try because really, who likes spending their day in a laundromat? Not me. Well, I was hungry before I started my laundry, and now I am starving. But I can get to making my pizza right away because pizza dough's looking pretty good. It's uh, nice and warmed up, so I am going to focus on getting some pizza made quickly. Okay, this is my best fan pizza yet. Let's see how it tastes. Probably gonna burn myself here. Mm. Okay, it not only looks good, but it tastes really good. This is absolutely the best batch I have made yet. And the even better part of this is look at my view. I get to look out and stare at my drying laundry. I bet you're jealous, aren't you? Yeah, what a life. Okay, lunch is over and I have to say I am so happy that I can make pizza now whenever I want. That pizza was especially good. I seem to be getting better and better at them. So uh, I am very, very happy about that. Uh, all right, enough messing around because now I'm just stalling. Uh, I need to get rid of all of this and it's probably not gonna take that long. It's just a lot of pieces. And unfortunately, because I've got this netting here, everything seems to be kind of wrapped up and tied up in the net. So probably going to be spending a bunch of time untangling cords. Oh yeah, you know what? One thing I forgot to mention. I strung this little uh, battery box up here. These are just a couple of bungee cords. I've been holding it up in place here. And I put this up here because I have been using this so much lately. This has a USB-C uh, charging outlet on it and I don't have an inverter here in my van. So the inverter, the only inverter I have would be on a box like this. When, whenever you use an inverter, if you're not aware, they do waste a bit of power. So they waste power taking 12 volts from the battery and boosting that up to 110 volts to uh, give you the inverter that you would 
plug your little power brick into. So because of that, I have been very much against using an inverter, and that's why I don't have an inverter in the van. Uh, but when I need something, like I have a, I have a beard trimmer that uh, runs off of 110. So if I need something that, that has to plug into a regular wall outlet, this will do that. Uh, but I generally don't use it unless I absolutely have to. So, um, what was my point? <laughs> what was my point? I had a point. I really did have a point. Oh, so, um, getting off on a little tangent here. So, uh, so normally I, I use the USB-C outlet on this, and I really like this little unit because of the USB-C outlet. It charges so much faster that I have just been charging my phone with this. Now I do have a regular USB over here on this side and it's supposed to be a updated USB, a USB 3.0 I think, but I don't think it works. They have circuitry in them that talk to each other, all these charging ports, and this just doesn't seem to talk well to my uh, to my phone or my iPad, but this unit does and so that's why I've been using this and I strung it up here that's 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 we're getting back to where I was going before um, I strung this up here to one get it up off the floor because I really have no floor space whatsoever in here um, so getting it up here meant that it gets it up out of my way but it's also quite easy to use when it's up here I'm actually a little bit torn about taking this off of here and moving this down onto the floor because it's really nice having it up here where it's easy to access and easy to charge and all of that. So we'll see how this works out. But I got a little stuff to clear up so I should um I should stop <laughs> I should stop jabbering away because uh yeah this is just more stalling because I don't I don't really want to do this. I don't really want to do this. But it's gotta be done. And I keep saying that. And it's not helping. I'm gonna I'm gonna get working now. I don't know why I was putting that off for so long. That wasn't bad at all. There's a bit of a mess over here of stuff, but that wasn't bad at all. So um, a while back, I glued up some uh, indoor outdoor carpeting here, and I did that kind of for sound deadening, and also because I can take and hang things up with some Velcro. So that's what this little pocket is. This was a little pocket that I bought at Ikea, I think. I think Ikea. I think it came from Ikea a long time ago. I don't think they sell them anymore, but um, I'm not using it as its intended purpose, but I took some Velcro and glued it on the back of this, and then that allows me to just Velcro this up into place. So this I like because it's a nice little pocket of things. Um, and even it doesn't hold much, but it holds things that I kind of need to get to uh, and things that I kind of like to keep handy. So now I just need to hopefully try to get this up here. I mean, it's just the right height. It's going to stay up off of my bed, which is the one thing that I was really uh, hoping for. Uh, I don't want to... Uh, I've, I've got a small bed and it's fine. But if it were any smaller, I would not be able to handle it. So it's, it's like the perfect size the way it is. So I don't need anything encroaching on it. So, uh, yeah, this is good. So I'm going to stop stop stalling again. I keep stalling. I keep stalling. <laughs> yeah, I like it. This is probably just a first of many stages of rearranging this here, but... Um, as a uh, as a first go, I think it's pretty good. Uh, I've got some bungee cords just to hold the pack back up to the door, just so I don't have it swinging down at me, and it just kind of holds everything in place. Um, and part of why I wanted to do this and put this here was to kind of build this out a little bit so that I can take my pillows set them up here and I have a better backrest because uh, I spend when I'm editing videos I spend a lot of time sitting here 
and I usually have this door open and you know that door stays open until I'm ready to go to bed and then I close it so um, so I really like being able to sit here and this is a lot more comfortable because my bed is a little bit too long uh, or a little too deep for me to sit comfortably without something behind me and I would prop up all my pillows like I'm doing before but it just wasn't quite enough and so this is a lot more comfortable it's almost like having a little easy chair here and that was part of my whole design philosophy when I was thinking of switching to this pack because I thought the pack if I could get something that fit in this spot like this does then I'd be able to do this so I think I am happy with this well, the day has really moved along here. It actually started to sprinkle a little bit a few minutes ago, and so I uh, quickly got a couple little things done since I am here at the bay and there are some showers there behind me. Uh, no, I didn't use the shower myself, but I did help myself to some water off of the shower stall so I filled up my tanks in the van so I don't have to worry about that for a couple of days at least so that's good since I'm here I like to stay stocked up and I, uh, I lost a little bit of time uh, working on the van and doing other things because I met a couple of other van dwellers uh, one of them actually recognized me and we were chatting and then uh, another fellow came over and said hey I live in a van and he wanted to uh, he wanted to interview me, is what happened, which I didn't quite realize that's what he was asking at first, but uh, he wanted to interview me because he has a YouTube channel, a little YouTube channel. And then the other guy, um, he's watched several of my videos, so he recognized me, and uh, yeah, so that was kind of cool. He's a really nice guy. Um, I kind of misunderstood how long he's been doing van life, but he actually has a little uh, short bus, um, or I guess maybe it's not a short bus, maybe it's a a, uh, well, what do they call those? My brain has not worked at all today. <laughs> a little passenger bus to, uh, you know, ferry people here and here and to. Um, anyway, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, I can't find the words. But, um, so it was fun talking with those guys. Uh, it's always fun talking van life stuff with people. You can see a few drops on my windshield there. I heard it was supposed to rain tomorrow. And now I believe it. Anyway, I gotta find a place to park because I'm hungry again. Okay, I have made it home. And home means an undisclosed location. So I won't be sharing where I am parking here. Uh, whenever I stay for a few days or more in a certain area or a certain city, I always end up finding a spot or two or three that uh, I really like and I won't share with anybody because I like having a nice quiet spot to park. So I don't want to give up that information. So this is one of those undisclosed locations and I'm not sure it would be a place that everybody would like, but I like it. So I'm going to keep it to myself. Now, uh, now that I am here, I can turn my attention to my growling stomach. I'm hungry. Okay, I'm getting prepped up here while I'm waiting for my pan to heat up. I, uh, I really wasn't going to have a second pizza today. I was going to do something kind of special with this other dough for dinner because really... How much pizza can a person really enjoy every day? I think two. Two apparently is uh, is what it is because I'm just going to eat another pizza tonight. I'm hungry and I just don't want to fiddle around. So, <laughs> so I'll do something special with the next batch of dough. <laughs> you notice what's hanging up over there? Do you see those two things? Those are my pants that I washed earlier. Today wasn't a good day to do laundry. It was really damp out, and yeah, they're still damp. And those pants usually dry in a couple of hours.
maybe three tops. So it must have been pretty humid out today. It didn't, it didn't feel like it, but it must have been pretty humid out today. So not a good day to do laundry. <laughs> but they'll dry tomorrow. I'll, uh, I'll just hang them back up outside tomorrow. And I'm sure we'll have our normal sunny, beautiful Southern California weather tomorrow. And they're going to dry up. In a, in a quick jiff tomorrow. So, uh, so I'm not worried about them tonight. So I'm just kind of hung up over there so they're kind of out of the way. And I am not going to worry about them at all. I've got pizza for dinner. So I think I'm going to call this quits today. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hopefully you get a little view of... Uh, how I have uh, spent my day here. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.